Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. What's going on? How are you guys doing? I'm so happy that you're here. So today I'm doing kind of a review, not really I guess though, more like a first impression of the new ColourPop palette that they released. Now it's part of their tie-dye collection and I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit today. So now, who am I though? Well, my name is Ashley, and my entire goal here is for deaf and hard of hearing people to have access to the YouTube beauty space. So I'm hoping that you'll join along, you'll like the videos, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications so that you know when I upload an upcoming video. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started. ColourPop recently had three new palettes that they released. And here they are. It's hard to see those other two. Sorry about that. Um, I've already opened the In the Trance palette and I've used it and I really enjoy that one. And there's these two, Miss Bliss and Aura and Out. Now both of those I just received and I bought all of this stuff with my own money as well. None of this is sponsored or anything. So I'm going to open these up for the first time. Oh, so Aura and Out is really beautiful. It's got greens and yellows. Look at that. It's really pretty. It looks like there are, let's see, three matte shades. And it looks like two that have a light shimmer and three have a more dense glitter. But it's cute. I really like this color story. Now, I don't typically gravitate toward green. I'm a little bit afraid of that color. But I'm excited for the challenge to figure out how to use that. Now the next, let's open this up. Miss Bliss. Ooh, it's oranges, some mauve, some peach colors. It's very beautiful. And this one has two matte shades and the rest look like a shimmer and glitter mixture. So this is the one that I'm going to use today. I, uh, I'm really into these colors. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started using it. Now, with the videos that I see on YouTube, people will normally talk about stuff, uh, discuss the colors that they're using, the techniques that they're using while they're doing videos and while they're doing their makeup, but to sign and do my makeup at the same time is a bit of a challenge. So I'm just gonna focus on the makeup, and when I'm done with the whole look, um, we'll talk about it. Now I'll include all of the information about the products that I'm using in the description box below so that you can see everything that I'm using today, okay? All right, let's get started. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start with this one and then I'm going to hit this bottom one and then this pink with the shimmer on the side. And I might throw in a little bit of this more intense shimmer. Oh, 
one thing that I'm noticing is that there is a lot of fallout in the pan. And you'll notice right here in those two colors that I used, I'm not really digging in hard. I'm just lightly sweeping over that color and there is a lot of fallout. And it's not typical with color pop, but it's just kind of interesting. Now I'm going to do the other eye off camera. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. One thing again that I've noticed, and I've said before, it's not typical for the ColourPop brand, but this specific palette did have a lot of fallout. Like I showed you before, let me show you some more here. And again, I've not noticed that with any of the other palettes. I have quite a few from ColourPop and I've never had that problem. Now, would that mean that I would not purchase it? Absolutely not. I would buy it. I love ColourPop's formula. It's so easy to blend. They make really beautiful, fast, easy looks because they have such a great formula. But I've just got to clean up with a wipe under here because I do have some fallout on my face. All right, now I'm gonna finish the eye. I'm gonna add some mascara and finish the lower lash line as well. Here I go. For this, I'm gonna use the same colors starting on the outer edge and bringing it in. I'll use the pink on the outside and the shimmer on the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna use some MAC Fix Plus on this to add some moisture. And for the inner corner, I think, let's see, what do I want to use? I think I'll go for this one here, this kind of peachy yellow. Now off camera, I am going to do the rest of my face and I will give you my final thoughts about this eye look using this new Miss Bliss palette. Of course, from ColourPop. All right, here's my final look. 
my honest opinion about this palette is really that I enjoyed it. Uh, I feel like I'll use it again and again. Uh, ColourPop, again, has such an incredible formula. Their prices are super reasonable. I think that this one, I think it's $12 for the single palette, maybe $12 to $16, but it's really good price for nine shades. And uh, the only, uh, I guess, issue or concern that I had was just the amount of fallout that was in the pan. But for me, it's not a deal breaker. It's something that I would still purchase regardless of the amount of fallout. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. If you did enjoy it, I would love it for you to join our community here. Go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so that way you'll know about the new videos that I'm uploading. So thank you again, you guys. Thank you so much for coming today and I hope you have such a wonderful day. Bye.